Thank you, Member Vancouver Point Grey. Thank you, Madam Speaker. November is Crohn's and Colitis Awareness Month, and I'm pleased to rise to make this House more aware of the impact of these diseases on British Columbians and Canadians, the need for us to prioritize the search for effective treatments and cures for these debilitating disorders, and the need to be supportive of those who suffer from these diseases. Crohn's and colitis are the main forms of a group of disorders that, as a result of an abnormal immune response, cause the intestines to become painfully inflamed and ulcerated. These are lifelong chronic diseases, usually starting in early adulthood in otherwise healthy, active individuals. There is no cure. Patients require regular medications to manage their conditions. When medications fail, surgery is often required. Canada has among the highest reported prevalence and incidence of these diseases in the world, with approximately 233,000 Canadians living with these conditions. Beyond the very real pain, discomfort, and social anxiety caused by these diseases, the total economic costs from these disorders in Canada were conservatively estimated at $2.8 billion per year. $1.2 billion per year in direct medical costs and $1.6 billion per year in indirect costs due to time off work, as well as out-of-pocket expenses for those afflicted. This is not to mention the uncounted uh, costs of time away from family, volunteering and otherwise contributing to community due to these illnesses. Honourable Speaker, the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of Canada is a volunteer-based charity dedicated to finding cures for Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. They hold a gutsy walk across Canada each year, which I was pleased to speak at in June, when, when they raised almost $3.1 million for research. The CCFC is the world leader in non-governmental research, medical research funding per capita for these conditions, with more than 65,000 supporters, including volunteers in 80 local groups. Please join me in thanking the CCFC and in recognizing those who live with Crohn's and colitis your courage and dedication is an inspiration, and you have our full support. Thank you, Madam Speaker.